Welcome to episode 80. We've made it to 80 of the Clarity Compressed podcast. Uh, Paul, I think it's actually episode 79. Now, back to our show. It feels good to be in my own seat for once. The last couple of episodes have been in airports. Today we're talking about, is sales success poisoning your brand? Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Today's moment of clarity, I just wanna talk about this concept, the difference between the purist and the realist. Now, I tend to be a purist in the way I think. It's like an all or nothing thing when it comes to the principle of doing something. The reality is everybody isn't a purist. And so that if you wanna work with other people, there's a realistic approach. So the moment of clarity is this, understand where you are in the balance between the purist and the realist, and you'll have a lot better chance of finding happiness, strangely enough. So this next segment uh, is something that we're trying to do. We're trying to do more segments on the podcast to keep it snappy. This next segment is called Paul's Pick, where I share something that I enjoy in my personal life, where I find it could be a product or a show or an album. Why am I even waiting? We had amazing feedback from the intro because it's hilarious. So just roll the intro. I'm so excited for what he's going to show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's Pick. Paul's Pick this week is a TV show. I say TV. It's a show on Hulu, and it's called Songland. Songland. And I love this show because basically the premise is this. You have a board of three producers, very accomplished music producers, and then you have an artist, an accomplished artist, right? That's four people. And then they bring in um, kind of songwriters that are trying to break on the scene and they pitch songs to the artist to put on their next album. The best part is to see the creative process and the collaborative process between the artist and the songwriter and these producers that have a really good take and they take the raw material and they start to shape it and form it. And it's just amazingly entertaining to watch. That's my pick for this week, Songland on Hulu, and I hope we have some clips that we can put in here just to give you a little taste of how freaking awesome the music is. So what you're about to hear is a truncated version of my thoughts on the brand tax and this agency model that I think is broken. We had to pack it into 10 minutes so we could get it on IGTV, get it on LinkedIn Organic, but the full version is the audio version, which you can find on iTunes or Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcast, so you get the full fire on my thoughts on why the agency model is broken. So this week, I want to get something out there that I've been seeing across the board in the businesses I work with where people's sales success is starting to poison their brand. And this is why things are going good right now. So everybody's got high ego. We're doing it right. But things are good right now because the economy is good. Whatever side of the political fence you lay on or you land on, we all know that we could just be one election away from a major change in the economy. And when it happens, I think all these brands that are like, hey, we're crushing it, we're doing great because of the good economy, have convinced themselves in the thinking that their brand is just killing it and their brand is connected. And this ties back to a principle I've talked about before that um, is the brand tax. I want to address it in the sense of equity. Like, let's use a house as an example. You have a home or a house and you can have equity in that house. So it means you own that portion of it. You pay taxes to the government for the privilege of owning that house. Now, when we're talking about a business ad spend, the conventional wisdom and the accepted wisdom is this. Well, say I have $10,000. We'll use a small number. $10,000 in my budget. Well, traditionally speaking, I'm going to spend $9,000 on advertising. That means placements and billboards and pay-per-click, all this stuff. I'm going to spend 9000 on those things. And I'm going to spend 1000 on creating the content to put out there. Well, what does that do? Well, I'll tell you what it doesn't do. It doesn't create content that is on target using honesty of who your organization is and the empathy of understanding what your customer wants to really make connections. It doesn't do that. 
It's yelling, it's telling, uh, talking about ourselves, talking about why we're good, talking about the products that we offer, lots of price payment, right? And we're just firing that out. Boom, 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 boom. The flipped mindset is this. Why don't we spend $8,000 or $7,000 on great, empathetic, brand building creative, and then spend $3,000 on ad placements? When we talk about this, I just watch people's minds explode because it's shifting the paradigm, it's change. But here's where it comes into building equity in your brand. I'm gonna use a real estate example. I did a little research here, actually. I have it on my desk, you can't see it, but it's written on my desk. And here's how it plays out. Now, I live in New York State where taxes are ridiculously, ridiculously high. Property taxes I'm talking about, oh, just about every tax. Um, yeah, just, I won't get into that. But either way, taxes are super high, right? So. The tax rate on a home is 2.74%. In Florida, generally speaking, the tax rate is 0.94%, which means now for a $100,000 piece of property, I'm only actually paying $940 versus $2,700. So New York's tax rate is three times higher than Florida. So how does that actually play out? Take two monthly payments. You pay for your house and where you live on a monthly payment. So we take two monthly payments that are the same. We'll say the monthly payment is about, oh, what do I have here? About $1,200. So a $1,200 monthly payment gets you um, about, and I'm not factoring interest into any of this, right? This is just property cost, taxes. You're going to pay about $1,266 a month for a $250,000 home where I live in New York. Now in Florida, you are gonna pay $1,200 a month for a $400,000 home. The monthly payment is the same because the taxes are so different. Meaning this, here's where it all comes together. My monthly payment's the same, but I am building equity in my Florida home much faster than I'm building equity in my New York home. Meaning after I pay my loan off, I'm going to have a $400,000 home in Florida so I can sell it and get 400 grand, but I'll only have a $250,000 house in New York. Meaning I just paid $150,000 as a tax. It's gone. I don't have any value in it whatsoever. How does that break down? Well, when you are paying for advertising, instead of building brand connection content that actually people interact with and like seeing and ingratiate you with them and helps them connect to your brand. Instead, you're spending the money to for placements and for you know, commercials and billboards and PPC, all that other stuff. You're paying, that's, that's a, I consider that a brand tax. Why would you pay for ad spend when you can pay to connect? But this ad spend, it also compounds on another level and that is the agency model that most people operate within is also encouraging this behavior and breeds an inherent conflict of interest on the agency side. So let me explain. I'm sure I'll get some comments on this. Agencies that charge a percentage of ad spend as their fee and as their income have an in built in inherent conflict of interest because I could never tell you to reduce your ad spend without reducing my own income. What benefit do I have to make your ad spend more efficient? Hey, look, I've just been able to accomplish the same thing with 30% fewer ad dollars. They're never going to be able to say that to you because they can't afford to cut 30% of their revenue out because there goes their profit and they go out of business. But that's the model that agencies are selling. If your business that is paying an agency a service fee of the ad spend, I'm telling you that you are just signing up to pay the brand tax and you're locking yourself into the brand tax. I'm not saying they're bad people. I know people who own agencies and they're amazing, kind, generous, giving people. I'm just saying the model is broken. So that is episode 80. I'll tell you, I'm feeling great being back in my own seat and from my own shelves of my own special stuff. Hit me up on LinkedIn. That community's grown super quick and uh, really enjoying some good conversations there. For now, I hope you have a great week. I hope you keep swinging the axe and um, I hope we can do it together.
Talk to you soon. Running from my shadow.